All right. Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Zach Webster giving you another update on the river flooding situation around the western slope. Uh, some good news to talk about, but also uh, some not as good news as well. We'll jump into the details in just a moment again. This is the update uh, for Monday, May 8th. 2023. Most of our flood alerts uh, from this past week have expired. There's still a couple uh, that continue to remain in effect, and it's the flood warning and the flood advisory uh, for Dolores and San Miguel counties. The flood warning uh, in effect for the Dolores River uh, that includes Highway 141 uh, and Gateway, and then farther off toward the south and the east, that flood advisory uh, for the Dolores and San Miguel rivers that continues to remain in effect until Monday, that's today at noon. And then for a little while, we're gonna be done with some of the flood alerts around the Western Slope, uh, but some changes on the way. However, while we do get a little bit of a break uh, from that, uh, from the rising flood levels, uh, we're going to see some warmer temperatures move back into the region over the next couple of days. Here's a seven day forecast uh, for Grand Junction, mostly sunny 77 today, mostly sunny 80 today. And while the higher elevations obviously won't reach those temperatures, we're still going to see some much warmer temperatures over the next couple of days compared to what we've seen over you know the past several days and that will once again lead to more melting of that snowpack and we're going to once again see those river levels on the rise and we could continue to see some of those water levels on the rise if we get some of this rain that comes through the region thursday friday saturday sunday if any of that starts to get a little bit heavy or a little bit uh, prolonged that could further uh, make the flooding situation a, a little bit worse once again so uh, a little bit of a break over the next couple of days but also with those warmer temperatures over the next couple of days, it will cause those river levels to go back up once again. Uh, we'll take you over and show you some of these uh, river graphs from around the western slope. And we'll start out at the Dolores River near Cisco, where uh, they're hovering right around minor flood stage uh, at this moment. Looks like they're uh, just below uh, probably about 14 feet. But as you can see, uh, that level that water level kind of comes down a little bit through Monday and Tuesday, but especially into Thursday, uh, we could see the Dolores River begin to spike back up into uh, into a moderate flood stage again uh, by early Thursday morning. Then again, those water levels uh, start to recede once again. And we'll see a very similar pattern to this uh, in the next few that we show you. This is the Gunnison River near Grand Junction. And uh, this is definitely some good news uh, for us here along the Gunnison River near Grand Junction. Water levels do start to rise uh, once again into Tuesday and Wednesday, particularly into Thursday and Friday. But notice we stay, we stay well below action stage. Could we have some high water levels? Yes. Will we see the minor flooding like what we saw earlier this week? By this graph, this says no. We made it well into action stage. Uh, you can see that farther back off toward the left side of the graph uh, late Friday morning where that uh, line spiked up into action stage, which just means some minor flooding right along uh, the riverbanks and all that stuff. It doesn't look like we'll reach that level uh, by the end of this week. We'll take you farther back off toward the north, the Yampa River near Dillage Park. This area was under a, a flood watch for much of the end of last week and was even under a flood advisory. Um, for Thursday and Friday, you can see same pattern here. Water levels coming down throughout the day today into Tuesday and into early Wednesday morning as well. Then some of that snow starts melting off of those warmer temperatures. Those water levels start coming up once again. Looks like we could see a, uh, a crest at near 14 feet. That's at minor flood stage. Uh, looks like around Saturday afternoon, late Saturday morning, early Saturday afternoon. We'll also see something pretty similar to that. Elkhead Creek near Hayden. This area was under a flood warning at the end of last week. Again, flood water levels kind of hanging in there, not really changing all that much over the next couple of days, but particularly uh, into Thursday and Friday and onwards, we could see a couple of different spikes where we could once again get pretty close to minor flooding stage. Again, not very much going on right now. We just have those two flood alerts uh, for the Dolores and the San Miguel rivers. And I'll show you that uh, once again right quick if we can get the clicker to bump back over. There we go. Uh, these are the only two flood alerts that's in effect around the Western Slope. Again, that uh, flood warning for the Dolores River that includes places like Gateway down Highway 141 and farther off toward the south in the east 
we have that flood advisory in effect. That's for the Dolores and the San Miguel rivers. Both of these are in effect until noon today. We'll be done with the flood alerts at least until then. We'll get a little bit of a break uh, from those rising water levels through the next couple of days. But as those temperatures start to turn warmer, uh, we could start to see some of those flooding issues uh, come back up once again. I, I'm sure we'll probably see uh, some more flood alerts once again. That will do it for this uh, today's version of the uh, of the Western Slope uh, flooding uh, rivers update again. Not really too much going on over the next couple of days, but we could see business picking up once again by Thursday and into Friday.